to look at Brady video of my prediction between Santa Claus and old Joe Biden. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. As we all know, in 2021, Santa Claus is running for the United States presidency and will likely win very easily. He has the support of many individuals and many Democrats and Republicans alike. So today I'm going to be fully in the prediction between Santa Claus and old Joe Biden. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First off, for Santa Claus, he's probably going to win a lot of rural states because rural pe uh, states that with rural individuals would likely be more inclined to believe in Santa Claus. Clause, including a lot of safe Republican states previously. While for the for Joe Biden, he would likely carry a lot of the states in the up west that doesn't really believe in Santa Claus. And the state of Alaska, which has a lot of third party voters who does not really like Santa Claus at all. So that brings our total to one hundred thirteen for Santa Claus and. 87 for Joe Biden. For the likely Santa Claus states, we have a lot of states in the Sun Belt region, including the state of Texas, which has a huge rural population, the state of Georgia, which also has a relatively high rural population, although it voted for Joe Biden in 2020, which probably was a one off election, it looks like to be. And Santa Claus will easily carry the state. In South Carolina, neighboring South Carolina will go to Santa Claus. People will believe in him and will vote for him, as well as that, the state of North Carolina. And the states of Arizona and Nevada will vote for Santa Claus because they like him a lot. While well, for Joe Biden, he will likely carry a state like California, which has a huge population. And a huge urban population. If we look at a state like Colorado, the state of Colorado probably votes for Joe Biden. He did win the state and it has a huge urban population and ex-urban population which will likely vote for him in the election. Now if we look at state Santa Claus will probably win. Florida's a state Santa Claus will win um, by relatively comfortable margin because old voters tend to not tend to like Santa Claus as well, although they might not want Santa Claus to destroy um, to influence politics. They still vote for Santa Claus, a very interesting figure. Ohio and Iowa, both states, Santa Claus will likely win because of their rural population. And in the Upper Rust Belt, Santa Claus is very favorable, giving Santa Claus the presidency at 308 electoral votes, where Joe Biden still sticks at 151. We will also be giving Santa Claus the state of Hawaii by Lee Marger because it is a very island state and a state that includes many islands and that will likely favor Santa Claus. Joe Biden, on the other hand, will win Maine's 1st District, that is a very urban area. If we look at Maine's 1st District, up in Maine, very urban with Portland in basically the calculation. And if we look at Joe, uh, and we, if we look at Santa Claus, Maine's 1st District, a very rural district, will go to Santa Claus. Maine's at large will tilt towards Santa Claus because people like him in general. Washington and Oregon will also go to Santa Claus and they don't like Joe Biden at all, thinking he's not progressive enough. Santa Claus, however, is a very young figure, is a very energetic and friendly figure. Fi figure. Um, old Joe, Joe Biden will likely carry Illinois as it has a huge urban population around the area of Cook County in, in the state of Illinois, which is Chicago as well. And, oh, and Odro will end up carrying Minnesota with its huge urban population. You can see how close the Rumsfeld is. 
New Mexico and Virginia will go to Ojo because people don't like him at that much, and Ojo of, of course carry Washington D.C., where he has been running his entire campaign on. And the Basco third is probably tilts towards Ojo. So this is my final electoral map: Santa Claus at 353, Joe Biden at 185. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.